1982, Oxford University Press released the first edition of the best-selling World Christian Encyclopedia. In 2001, a second edition of two volumes was published. An important piece of information from the second edition caught my attention. World Christianity consists of six major ecclesiastical cultural blocks, divided into 300 major ecclesiastical traditions, composed of over 33,000 distinct denominations in 238 countries, these denominations themselves being composed over 3,400,000 worship centers, church or congregations. Yes, you heard correctly, 33,000 Christian denominations. This number is based on the publication from 2001. I'm waiting with some expectations the third edition of the encyclopedia that is supposed to be released in January 2020 to see how many Christian denominations are out there. In the meantime, we can have an idea based on the study prepared by the Center for the Study of Global Christianity at the Gordon Cowell Theological Seminary that reports that there are around 41,000 Christian denominations and organizations in the world today. 41,000! That's a lot! And with the amount of debate and division over theology and orthodoxy, since then, that number is undoubtedly higher. 41,000 Christian denominations and organizations. Is this God's idea for His church, for His ecclesia? We have Jesus' words as follow. I have other sheep, too, that are not in this sheepfold. I must bring them also. They will listen to my voice and there will be one, just a kindly reminder, it's you that's supposed to read the word in red. So let's try one more time. They will listen to my voice and there will be one flock, that's right, with one shepherd. The huge proliferation of Christian denominations has created a movement of people that don't want to be connected to any denomination or, as many say, don't want to be part or belong to any church. The reality is that many people today understand church as a denomination and as, as an institution. Well, let me ask you, what is a denomination? What is the first word and thoughts that come to mind when you hear or think about the word denomination? Take one minute to think it over and share your answer with those around you. Merriam-Webster's dictionary offers four possible definitions for the word denomination. The definition that relates to our discussion is the fourth one, a religious organization whose congregations are united in their adherence to its beliefs and practices. So let me ask you, is the Church of Christ a denomination? Is denomination what God had in mind when He designed the Church? A name, a set of beliefs, our organizational structure, standard practices and behaviors? 
Today, in our fourth message of this series, Breakthrough, the popular belief that must collapse is the belief that church is merely a denomination. I believe that God's church is more than a denomination. It is a movement, a dynamic movement a dynamic and organic movement of the Holy Spirit. Before his ascension, as Jesus was giving his final instructions to his followers, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which he said, you heard of from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the... That's right, Holy Spirit, not many days from now. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the remote part of the earth. Jesus asked them to wait for the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit. Through the guidance and empowerment of the Holy Spirit, that group of believers would grow reaching all the corners of Jerusalem. The movement would multiply reaching Judea. Then the movement of the Holy Spirit would spread end up in Samaria, but not stopping there. The movement would reach the whole world. God's church is a dynamic and organic movement of the Holy Spirit. How does the Holy Spirit manifest Himself in the early church? What is the role of the Holy Spirit in His movement of believers? Take some time to read some Bible verses and discuss the action of the Holy Spirit in God's church.
A church without the Holy Spirit is not a church at all. The church, God's ecclesia, is a result, a product, an outcome of the almighty manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The danger of the church in every age is to cease being a movement of the Holy Spirit and become instead a ministry that provides service to people. Or even worse, a place people simply attend until it moves on on what it is left, it is only a monument or mainly an institution. Churches with no movement dynamics are like a person on a life support machine. Pastor Timothy Keller in his book Center Church argues that human organizations exist along a spectrum. On one hand, we have institutions, and on the other, we have movements. An institution is highly structured, hard to change, top-down, and it is, it is united by rules. The movement is fluid, dynamic, bottom-up, and it is united by common vision. Being a movement of the Holy Spirit, we cannot be naive thinking that we can operate without some institutional structures. The Bible requires a certain number of institutional structures for the church. But we are not mainly institution, but a dynamic movement led by the Holy Spirit with institutional structure for the sake of the mission. Structure, policies, and institutions all have vital roles to play in the organization of the church, but they are not the church's mission. When the church becomes centered on the preservation of the institution, diverted by arguments about policy and structure, rather than focus it on giving the good news of salvation, we know that we have lost the original intent of the organization. The church does not exist for the sake of itself as an institution, but for the sake of its people and its mission. As a church, we have understood ourselves more than a denomination or institution. We have understood ourselves as a movement. We have called ourselves the Seventh-day Adventist movement. We cannot lose that. We are a movement, a movement of the Holy Spirit carrying the everlasting gospel, presenting the three angels' message to this world, proclaiming the good news of the soon return of Christ. It is about a movement and not a denomination that Jesus said. I will put together my church, a church so expensive with energy that not even the gates of hell will be able to keep it out. Let's be the church, loving and serving.